Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a membership funnel inside of ClickFunnels. So I just received an email uh, from one of the students in one of my affiliate marketing programs and they were having some difficulties getting their membership funnel set up. So that's what I'm going to do with this video. I'm gonna show him the steps to get a membership funnel set up and I wanted to share it with y'all in case you're having a similar problem. Now, membership funnels are great for affiliate marketing. Uh, you can create membership groups that can be bonuses uh, to entice people to click on your affiliate links, uh, or you can actually create free trainings that actually earn affiliate commissions for you. I use membership funnels a lot. I can give away free access to it, and then they end up earning me affiliate commissions. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and add a new funnel once you're inside your ClickFunnels dashboard. Now, you can do this two different ways. You can go through the cookbook uh, builder process where they're going to give you kind of a, a pre-designed membership funnel. Uh, but I think it's actually a little bit easier uh, to go through the classic funnel builder. So that's how I'm going to do it. And what we want to do is we can collect emails. We'll name this demo membership funnel. And go ahead and click build funnel. So you can see over here while this is building, it's going to give us an email landing page and a thank you uh, slash download page. Uh, so the way I'm going to treat uh, this is have an opt-in page where I collect the emails. The thank you page is going to say congratulations or welcome or something. And then it's going to give them the specific link that they're going to need to actually create their membership account inside the membership funnel. Uh, so we're going to have those two steps already done for us. And we also need to add some membership steps as well. Uh, so the first page I'll build out will be an opt-in page, and I'm just going to do this very quickly. Uh, so it might be something like uh, this. Go ahead and select this template. Maybe I'll uh, add a video sales letter on here or some sort of video that talks about what I'm actually offering. Uh, but I think everybody can get that idea. Uh, I don't want to waste your time with it. Uh, so this is going to be my uh, first page of the funnel. Uh, once again, it's just going to be a very simple uh, bit of sales copy or explaining the offer, or it could be a, a video like I talked about. And then it's going to have the opportunity to actually give collect the email, right? So this will be my pop-up uh, that collects the email, right? I'll just modify it to match the, the thing that I'm giving away, right? Uh, so if we preview this page, obviously this will be the lander. This is where I'm going to send all my traffic, uh, download the free report. Sure. It gives the pop-up. I'm going to collect their name and email and I can collect their phone number if I want, but I'd probably just get rid of that. Uh, so that's good. So we'll save that and then we're good to go. Uh, the next page I said is going to be the, the thank you page. And once again, that's going to give them the link that they need to actually create their membership account. So I'm actually gonna, not going to create that next. The first thing I want to do is add another step to the funnel. And we'll just call this uh, account creation. Go ahead and create the funnel step there. And while we're going to wait for that to build out, what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually want to make this uh, membership or part of the membership funnel. And we want this to be membership access. So we can go ahead and collect, uh, select the membership access uh, template that we like. I usually use uh, the simple membership access one over here. So go ahead and select that template. Obviously, that will build that out. And this is going to be the page where people can either create their account or log into their account, right? Just go ahead and preview that. It looks, uh, well, it won't show up because I haven't added the actual membership site yet. So let's go ahead and add that set, uh, that site now. So member area. Go and create that funnel step as well. Uh, now we go back to the membership here, and this is going to be a membership area. Okay, and this is going to be the actual 
place where the information is hosted. This can be your video lessons, whatever you want to do. Uh, see, I have created my simple template up here that I use anytime I create a membership. Uh, but you can see this is going to be very, very similar uh, to like, I don't know if it was the simple membership site or if it was a list hacking one. Uh, regardless, you can select any one of these that you want. Uh, we'll just go ahead and select the simple membership area. Okay. So this secret signup URL, there's a secret signup URL and a login URL. Login URL will sit, is where you're going to send people uh, if they want to log in, like returning members. Uh, the secret signup URL is the URL you want to send people to in order to create their account. So a couple of different things we got to do here. The first thing you can do is you can actually edit your membership area. So this is going to, uh, this button up here, edit membership design is where you're actually going to update kind of the membership area template. This is going to be the look and feel of your membership area. Uh, you can, you know, put, uh, you can add your picture over here. You can add a little bio, you can change out your logo all over in this widget over here. Okay. And if we go back to this section here in the membership area, this is where you're going to actually add your content. So if we wanted to add, the first thing we might do is add a new lesson section. And this is going to be how to build a business. Okay. And you can restrict them if you want, but we currently allow all authorized members. And so we'll go ahead and create the lesson section. And then if we want to actually add a new lesson to that, we just go ahead and add a new lesson. We select the section we want it to go into. We want it to go into the how to build a business. And we'll call this step one. And you can select a page template. And most cases, it's probably going to be video lessons or it could be resource list memberships. But I'm going to select video lessons uh, for that. So you can drip it out if you want. Like if you don't want each lesson to become available on day one. But for this purposes, it doesn't really matter. So go ahead and create the lesson. Okay. So now I can actually edit the the lesson and this page right here okay this is where i'm going to change out my video update the text if i want to uh create a new title up here this is where i'll embed the video that i want to embed i can either host it on youtube or vimeo or, or whatever you want to do uh, we can do custom embed get the embed code and paste that right there uh, you can update this down here, or you can delete it if you don't want that section. You can get rid of that whole section if you want to, too. doesn't really matter. That's just going to be the individual lesson. Now, you can see if we go back to the, uh, if we open up in the editor here, it's not actually going to change this part right here because this is just the, the template. Remember, this is where we're going to design uh, things like our name or our email address or whatever we want to show up. But these lesson sections are auto updated here. So if we actually go ahead and preview that right now, you can see there's that how to build a business step one. And this is the, uh, when they click on that, that's going to be the, the individual lesson that we gave them, right? Okay. So that's how the, that's how to do that part right there. So let's go ahead and close that. I'll get back over there. Now we can see the account creation uh, page here. If we want to, if we want to preview this, because now that the membership area is there, oh, I'm actually logged. It says I'm logged in, but okay. This is what it would look like. This is how they can obviously log into their account. Obviously, you would update your logo there uh, simply by editing the page right here. And this is very simple, straightforward editing, uh, just like every other ClickFunnels page. So it's a pretty pretty easy drag and drop. Uh, usually I don't mess around with this part too much. I might change the color of the button, but but that's pretty much it, just this part. And then of course, update my logo. That's really all you need to do for that page. I'll go ahead and leave that. Now, the final thing you wanna do really is, um, you know, of course the opt-in page is where you're going to integrate with your autoresponder because that's where you're capturing that email. On this thank you page here, what I like to do is once again, go back to the membership area. That's where I'm going to give them the account creation link. I'm also going to send that link 
in the first follow-up email that I send out after they opt in to, to the homepage there, uh, just in case they need to get access to it again. But once again, that's this secret sign-up URL, so I'll go ahead and copy that. Uh, once again, I'll send that in the first email after somebody opts in, but I will also post this on the thank you page. And the thank you page is going to be a very simple page. Hey, thank you so much. Click the button below uh, to get access to the membership area that you, that you requested, right? So you can use any page you want. I'll find one that has a button. Cool. We'll just use this template right here for now. And we'll go ahead and edit this page. And it's going to pop it up here. And cool. So we'll obviously update our logo. Let's say you're in. And do something like click the button below to create your free account. And then. This is where we're going to actually edit the button. Click here to register. And then go ahead and click on set action. And what we want this to do is this is where we want to actually paste that secret uh, sign up URL. You can either have it open in the same window or a different window, doesn't really matter. Uh, but that's it. Super cool there. Now this page, this when they click on this button, it'll actually take them to actually log in and create their membership account, actually create their membership account the first time, I guess is what I should say. Uh, so now everything is pretty much set up. Obviously, we would have to populate it and update it, but that's how you create a, an existing membership funnel. Um, so if we would just kind of go through the process, once again, this is going to be the first page there. And you can obviously put this on a custom URL if you want, um, or just leave it on the ClickFunnels URL. But now if we go ahead and open this in a new tab and we paste this, this is going to be our home page, right? Cool. This is our home page. Yes, they want access to that. Cool. So we're going to enter our name, our email address. Obviously, I didn't show you this step where we have to connect to this page to the autoresponder, but that information is available. Uh, so go ahead and they're going to submit their, their email address. We're going to collect it. And then cool, it automatically takes them to the thank you page, which is the, hey, you're in. Click the button below to create your free account. So they're going to click here to register. And it's going to take them to the account creation page. And they're going to enter their email again. Go ahead and use the strong password there. And then they can go ahead and create their account. Now, after doing so, here is that membership area that we just created. Here's that how to build a business, step one, so, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Just make sure you copy that login URL and paste it somewhere on your homepage. Uh, if you have any questions um, regarding the process, just go ahead and leave them. Uh, in the comments uh, below this video, and I'll, I'll reach out and, and, and answer them. Uh, but that's that's pretty much the process. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, if you're interested. And if you want to see more about the, uh, the affiliate marketing programs that I offer, uh, check out the description below. And we'll see you later.